Shayla with 3 Full News, and I'm here with Josh Okoji of the Phoenix Suns. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. So it's crazy that this is your first year with us because it just feels like you just acclimated with the team so well. Everyone loves you. The fans love you. Like, how's it been for you this first year just being here in Phoenix? It's been great. I mean, one, I love the weather. <laughs> oh, yeah, better yeah. Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, but uh, two, I mean, the atmosphere, the environment of the city, and everything is great. People are nice here, you know, so welcoming. Everything is like the mood. Everything's so cool and calm and collective. And I, I love that, and I love playing for this team. I love putting all, everything I got to this team and to the fans. Mm -hmm. I see that you still have so much love from your Minnesota fans and people still repost all your plays from them too. Like, how was it seeing them as the game is kind of reconnecting with that team? It felt great. I mean, that's really family. I spent four years in my, I mean, I got drafted to the league at 19. So yeah. I was still, you know, young and uh, very like, didn't really know nothing. So, you know, I, I spent four years there. So I feel I felt like I grew up and a large part of my, my life has been over there. So. I still have a lot of love for that team, a lot of mm -hmm. love for the people, a lot of love for that city. So, yeah, so every time I see them, it's always, always love. I know. It was so great. Everyone's like, Josh! <laughs> so, a lot of times, you know, you always speak and you're very open about your faith in God and, like, how you give thanks to Christ. And how, as an NBA player, have you maintained that relationship with God? Because I know... Honestly, basketball, even growing up, you know, you have tournaments on Sundays, you know, you're not really in church anymore. <laughs> People can fall off from that, but you know, how has it, how's it helped you like during the season to kind of like maintain that faith in God? Yeah, I uh, mean, personally, funny story, when I was younger, my parents wouldn't even let me go to the Sunday games because I had to go to church. My dad's a pastor, so I was really raised. Man. <laughs> so like I had to figure out a way to play on Sunday. That's a championship game. So, um, wow. so for me, like growing up, it was like, you know, you know, my faith is non-negotiable. So I'm glad that they have chapel, you know, in the league, so I can 60 minutes for the game, go for 15 yeah. minutes, go and get some, get the word in, uh, cause you know we play on Sundays, we play on, you know, we play on all <laughs> yeah. type of days. So mm -hmm. I'm happy that every game day I can get some some word in, but. I mean, I know who I am as a person, and you know, who I am is more important than what I do. Although what I do yeah. sometimes get more noticed than who um, than who I am. So yeah, you know, and I know that you know, as long as I stay in Christ, I'll be okay. That's awesome, and I'm glad that you're not the stigma of PK kids. <laughs> but how's it been for you too? I think navigating in the league, meeting new friends, women, you know, they gonna be there. <laughs> How's that been navigating that path? Because, like, you know, if you're single, it's like, how do you trust people? Is it, like, a lot of prayer, discernment, just kind of, like? Definitely discernment, but I have a, 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 a tight-knit group around me, my brothers, uh, my friends. And, you know, they all watch out for me, and I watch out for myself, too. And uh, I, I really just, just just confide in them a lot. Yeah. You know, and I, I don't really be all over the place. You know, I know what I like to do. I do what I like, and then I you know, always find a balance between giving me some me time and being, you know, out in the open. So that's really great. But lastly, I know it's a crazy question, but what do you think you would be doing if you weren't playing? Like, if you weren't playing basketball, what do you think you'd be doing right now? I don't know. I always like, uh, like business. So something in entrepreneurship. I actually went to school for uh, operations and supply chain management. So it's probably something in the logistics field, mm -hmm. especially nowadays where COVID kind of messed up everything in logistics. So <laughs> yeah. probably trying to figure out how to solve those problems. That's awesome. And then what do you think would be like the weirdest job one of your teammates would have if they weren't, if they weren't playing in the league? <laughs> like uh, who would have like a crazy job? I think Bays right here have a crazy job. <laughs> I don't know. He's just, he's just, you know what I'm saying? He'll probably have the weirdest job out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he be in the circus. <laughs> yeah, Cirque du Soleil or something. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for always professing Christ. Keep him first. I got you. Seriously. Appreciate and we appreciate you too. This is Shayla Three Full News.